Welcome to this Smartsheet tutorial. Today, we are going to be looking at how you can find the critical path in a project in Smartsheet. So what I've done is I've just created an example sheet and I've put in some of the major milestones of a project and I've set up a start and end date for each and every single one of those. So it's a very, very simple and basic project at the moment. Now to find the critical path, what we need to do is we first need to navigate to the Gantt view. So at the top here, we need to click this icon and then we need to click Gantt view. And in doing so, the Gantt will appear on the right hand side. Now from here, what we actually need to do is we need to set up some dependencies between the different tasks. So to do that, we navigate to the project settings, which is the cog icon in the corner. Click this and select dependencies enabled. And if you don't have these columns in the sheet already, then the duration and predecessor columns are going to be added for you and they're required in order to show the critical path. So hit OK. And now our dependencies are enabled, we have our predecessors and we have our duration. Now when we hit OK. Now I don't know if you saw that, but this icon has now become available. And this is where we can see the critical path. So to, to see it, we just click this icon here and you can see the change has happened and the critical path has been displayed. And you can toggle that on or off. Now, of course, how you update your dates and the rest of the different tasks and the dependencies that you set up between them will have an impact on that critical path. So I'm just gonna quickly do some of those dependencies. These are start to finish dependencies, hit save and your critical path has changed. So that's how you find the critical path in Smartsheet. I hope this tutorial was useful. If you have any questions regarding the process or managing dates and the critical path in Smartsheet, then be sure to drop a comment down below and I'll get back to you. And in the meantime, do subscribe to this channel and you will be notified of when I release new Smartsheet tutorials just like this.